What is something beautiful that's happened in your life recently? It may be a tough question to answer, but I believe that in the middle of all the stress, pain, frustration, and heaviness of this time, there is still so much beauty to be found. This is the beauty of life. Every day actually is a miracle. Uh, when you wake up and you realize that you're alive, it's a beautiful thing. Spending time with my grandchildren, especially uh, uh, the newest grandchild, five-month-old baby girl. Our daughter learning how to talk. I would say the birth of our daughter. <laughs> there you go. I think, you, I think you're pretty nice. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> Oh, that's really cute, you too. <laughs> this is my best friend since kindergarten. This year we celebrate 50 years of friendship. This is what 50 years of friendship looks like. And, you know, we've had our kids together. We've gone through marriages together. We've, our lives since kindergarten. And it did start off with me bullying her and, and taking her her um, little doll, but I didn't, I don't remember that. But, you know, some things come, you know, from one place to a beautiful place, like, you know, friendship. I've actually made so many more friends for some reason during this pandemic than any other time. I don't know, for some reason the internet brought more friends and more companions into my life, so. Yeah. Similar onto that, I think I've used this time to uh, better myself. It's given me an opportunity to really take a look at who I am and who I want to become. And I've been able to have conversations with people like you who's helped uh, give me a way of getting there, kind of mm -hmm. shaping my my mentality in the way that I wanted it, in the path I wanted to take. I found myself. I know who I am. Better yet, or who I'm not. And I'm not what they see. I'm not what people say. That's the, one of the most beautiful things I have had was a, a beautiful awakening. I go from water to walk and I got to come visit this sea, yay! I watched my brother fall in love. Yes, for me, I'm with my daughter, we just dropped off the brother that's in love in his first semester in college in Pittsburgh. And we're traveling together, just chilling, enjoying each other's company. I'm opening up a food truck soon, so that's been awesome, kind of just, um, the planning of it and you know, um, talking to people about the food. It's uh, mostly East African food, because I'm from Kenya. So people are interested about the food and um, it's very inspiring. You? Um, probably with the pandemic, um, we have four daughters. So we've got to spend a lot more time with them and just be, do more at home with our families. So that was one nice, they're probably the only silver lining of everything. Yep. Hey, what's up? Something beautiful that's happened in my life recently is getting to talk to people about the beauty of life. For the past month, I've been engaging people with this question and doing videos on the beauty of life, and it's just been really cool to hear different perspectives. And for me, it's been super uplifting to hear that even in the midst of all this negativity, people are still able to see the beauty all around them. Uh, the most beautiful thing is when I found peace with the God, I found my identity in Him where I thought I knew who I was, my old walk, my old self. And when I completely let go of that and surrender, that true identity and my rock, my foundation made sense with him and his word. So the most beautiful thing is just reading scripture every day, just hearing from God and letting him work in my life and having him um, close to me, um, walking with me daily, all the time, and showing me how much he loves me in my everyday walk with him. You're not alone, and the Lord's with you. Call on his name. Through circumstances and through hard times too. He's in the valleys and in the mountains. He's much bigger, has a bigger perspective than all of us. Um, Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my heart and I'm hoping that everyone will find him too in their in theirs, in their life. And uh, we're not meant to walk through this earth alone. Uh, we're meant to share it with other people and uh, create good memories and friendships. Uh, recently, we have been able to take small trips, um, like weekend trips, to start seeing the local, um, like things like this, like monuments or- uh, National, not, not necessarily having to go international. 
just here in the States? Yeah. So we live in Texas, and so we uh, we did a little hiking where? In uh, Palo Duro by Amarillo, Yeah, Palo Texas. Duro Canyon. So we're going like different places like that. Well, most recently, uh, one beautiful thing is having the March for Life here yesterday in Washington, D.C., and we were able to present the Life Peace Zone banner at this uh, 48th March for Life. And it was very beautiful to have uh, well over, I'd say up to a couple thousand citizens for Life and Peace show up in Washington, D.C. Life brought me here in D.C. I have an internship opportunity on the Hill and I'm just so blessed to be at the Center of Democracy. I think just being here with my boyfriend and being able to experience life right now. When a uh, traumatic event happened to me and I was just lost and confused and not understand and it was complex. Uh, because I was so uh, humble and I allow myself to learn and grow from his word that completely changed my perspective. God bless you guys.